Hello friends and welcome back. I'm Faraz and in today's video we will learn how to install the Windows OS on a Mac machine and we are going to do all the stuff together. So let's get started. In order to install a Windows OS on a Mac, you need a virtual machine. There are a lot of options available in the web, but the one which I am going to recommend you is the Palos. Now Palos, I have been personally using this for quite a long time and I do make all my videos when I want to make on Windows, I use Palos and this works perfectly smooth. Now you can go for a free trial or even you can go and buy a new license and this is a license which I have at Pro Edition. So this is a yearly subscription. So whenever they launch a new version, you automatically get a new copy of the Palace. So once you purchase it, you can click on my account and you can just log in with your credentials and you will be logged in to this dashboard page. Now you will receive an email with a registration license key. You can just simply enter that license key and that would get registered. Now you have the product to download. So let's say that we want to download the product files. You can click over here and you can install the Mac DMG file. Now you can even install it from the Apple stores. You just need to sign in with your credentials when you are installing the panelists. Now coming to the Windows side. So all we need to do is to get the copy of an OS. So I'm going to select Windows 11. Now under Windows 11, you all need to do is scroll down and see download Windows 11 disk ISO image. Now we will just select the windows from here and click on download. Then it will ask you for the product language and which language you would like to have it. So I would just like to have it in English international and I can just hit on confirm. Now once I hit confirm, it is going to validate that link and this link is only for 24 hours and you can just click on download. Automatically the download will get start and the ISO image file will get stored in a download folder. Now I have already downloaded that file for you. So we can quickly see that how to set it up on parallels. So once you have download and set up the parallels desktop on your machine, then you will end up on an installation assistant. Now I'm here with the two VMs which are already installed on my machine. So that's why you will not find that installation assistant. Now to install, you can just click on plus sign. But if you don't have any VMs, then it will automatically show you the installation assistant. There are different options to download the Windows OS. We are just going to select install Windows from another OS or DVD or image file. That is an ISO file, which we have seen. And you will have these options over here. So we are just going to quickly select the file, which is over here. I have already kept it over here for us. And we can just drag and drop this guy over here. Perfect. So once I drag and drop, click on continue. You don't need this guy anymore. And you, if you have the license, you can enter the license key. It will be faster for the installation. But let's say that if you don't have the license and you would like to enter it later on, then you can click on continue. Now you have an options over here, which windows are you going to install? So I'm going to install Windows 11 Pro and then, and we are going to use it for the productivity. Yes, of course, email accounting and spreadsheets. Continue. You have to make sure that you have plenty of space before you start installing the VM on this machine. I have deleted sufficient file from my Mac, but I don't know still there is an error showing up over here. But when I go and check in the man space, I can see that there's 88 GB, whereas it shows over here that you have available only 18 GB. I don't know how it is calculating or it's a bug or something, but I'm definitely going to report this to Palos. I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to send it to them. Okay, so let's go perfect. So the space is sufficient. You can just uncheck this one, customize setting before the installation if you like to have it, or you can just leave it blank and just go and create. So now it is going to go and create that virtual machine and it make sure that all the installation goes right and smooth. I'm just going to fast track this setup so you can see on the fly what is happening. So the Windows 11 installation is finally completed can just click on continue and you know it will just open the panels let's go and expand it to the full screen and just enjoy the experience of this virtual machine so we have windows 11 working on our mac 
So let me show it to you that this is for real and this is working pretty smooth. So if I can go to start and I can go to settings and if I go about, you can see over here we have some options and you can enter the product key over here to activate it and it has given 4 GB RAM and you can just play with the settings on the virtual machine just going over here by settings and you can go to the hardware and you can just scroll and you can feel free to check all the settings over here now with the memory I would always recommend you to keep it as automatic so it can handle the system very smoothly so you don't face any problem in the Mac also and if you are confident that you have a good 16 GB system then you can go to manual and change it to 8 GB and these changes can be only done once you shut down your VM so if I try to do any changes now you can see I am not able to do it one very important thing my friends before I end my video make sure that you go and buy the genuine copy of the windows and even for the parallels or any software you are using on your machine because your safety is more important the cost of the software is nothing than your safety these days we do a lot of transaction online and it's very important for us to stay safe now having a genuine copy of windows is just make sure that they release it the best and the security features for us so that we can stay and enjoy and have a best experience online because if you buy a crack version or you try to crack it out by somebody or you find some patches or something then you are putting yourself in a very high risk because you don't know what are the code written behind that crack file you might be opening some doors for the hackers to easily access your system and you are eventually putting yourself in the risk it's not because i'm promoting microsoft or parallels or it's about any software when you buy it make sure that you buy the genuine copy so that's all for today my friends and i hope you have enjoyed this video make sure that you hit that like button share this video subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comment sections if you are using a vm or what is the best solution you have it to install a windows on a mac and i'll be seeing you soon in the next video till then take care see you soon happy learning bye